Just like his father before him, Willi Kaiser has worked at the Neptune shipyards for more than 40 years. Today he trains other shipbuilders. Sometimes he wonders how he, unlike so many others, was lucky enough to always have a job. Yes, it's for the individuals involved, it's not a good situation. We had to take this step. It was very painful for a number of people, that's for sure. The shipyard went through a long period of uncertainty after the fall of the Berlin Wall. Until the late 90s, when Meyer Werft, a shipbuilding company from Western Germany, took over Neptune and launched a new venture, building river cruise ships. We are glad that we had a product of our own and that we had a future. Nearly every shipyard could build or was building container vessels. Here we decided to specialize, and now it's clear that it was a very good decision. A decision that helped secure jobs although the once 7,000-strong workforce has now shrunk to just 400. We used to build exploratory vessels, train ferries, mainly serial production. We built cargo ships for the former Soviet Union. But that's ancient history. A lot has changed since 1989, but the shipyard is still there. The Hanseatic city of Rostock is located on the river Varno, a windy spot on the Baltic sea coast. And that's where DMR comes in. The company used to produce diesel motors for ships, but today they build gears for wind turbines. Helfried Waldschläger trained with DMR. Today he oversees the entire production process, and since 1989 he's seen quite a lot of people leave. At the time, there was transitional retirement for older colleagues. They were just 50, my age, and they were asked to stay home, told they'd receive a generous payment. But they still wanted to work. It was a real problem for them. Wind turbines gave the company a fresh start. A lot has changed in the past two decades. The workers say that before 1989, there was more camaraderie in the workplace, despite the mandatory political celebrations common in East Germany. That was great. The 1st of May was Labour Day, and we'd carry banners. We had a recreation building in Nagensdorf. We went there on weekends. All the workers went there together, and we stayed until Sunday. We don't have things like that anymore, but we enjoyed it. But that doesn't mean they yearn for the old days. A lot of things have changed in Rostock over the past two decades. Its coastal location attracts tourists, and Rostock's old town has undergone extensive restoration, which has left few traces of the old East German facades. It's more beautiful and open, too. Many students have come here, which kind of rejuvenates the city every year. The buildings are nicer. It all used to be grey. Now it's colourful and attractive. Matthias Fromm's job is to bring business to Rostock. The aim is to offset the collapse of the region's shipyards. Places are always competing for a locational advantage. Quality of life is always at the top of the list, and that's where Rostock has something to offer. And that's important in a city that has been weathering economic decline. Rostock has changed a lot since the fall of communism but the struggle to create new jobs in the region continues.